Hey, it's Anthony Bresnikan here at the Sundance Film Festival with Entertainment Weekly's intrepid film critic Lisa Schwartzbaum. She's taking a break from hitting every possible screening she can to tell us, tell us what she loves. So what's your number one movie so far? Well, my number one movie is a movie called Fruitvale. It, the, the name of that actually has to do with a BART transit station in San Francisco, and it is a dramatization of a real story of something that happened a couple of years ago. A young African-American man was shot by cops at, on New Year's Eve in a wrongful homicide. And this was a famous story that kind of made a lot of news in the Bay Area, but That's maybe right. but, nationwide but, but I, we didn't know. Nationwide I didn't know. This is made by a young filmmaker named Ryan Coogler. This is his first film, which just amazes me because this was such immediate filmmaking and so beautifully done and so powerful. I just was completely uh, bowled over by it and I think that this young man has a really great filmmaking. And feature. how was the lead? Michael B. Jordan who B. Jordan. starred in Chronicle. Exactly. People may know him from that. He plays the, the character, the lead character. He, the casting is great. I think that this is a breakout for him. Really, I was just completely knocked over by it. It was, as I, as I tweeted, it was my first wow of the film festival. Now you also saw Kill Your Darlings, which is the story of the baby beats, the beat generation, Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, <laughs> right. William Burroughs, and a murder that kind of brought them all together? That's right. Well, you know, we thought that we had seen all the Allen Ginsbergs we needed by seeing James Franco and Hal. This is actually Daniel Radcliffe playing Allen Ginsberg. This, as I understand it, is a story uh, uh, John Krakaitis, the filmmaker, had been working on it for years and the cast has turned over. But Dan Radcliffe has been attached to this, I think, since 2008. It's got great style to it. It's got a great sense of music. It's a period drama done apparently for relatively little money and it looks great. So a lot of people are shocked to see Harry Potter having sex with a man in a very well, provocative way. I mean, you know, it's interesting to me because It did I, raise eyebrows though. I think that were... Daniel Radcliffe is making such wonderful um, choices. It's interesting, both he and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who were both kid actors, I think are two young men who have really found a really great path for themselves in having to, having to go forward. And that's a good segue to Don John's Addiction, a film Absolutely. directed, written, and starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt. It's all Joseph Gordon-Levitt. As the title says, he plays a guy who is like a Don Juan, but since he's from New Jersey, he's from Don John, and he is addicted to porn. So Joseph Gordon-Levitt stars in, directs, and writes this story. How did he do with Everything his first feature film? Dance. He does lots of things in this. I think he did amazingly well. It's really kind of funny. I mean, this guy is kind of an emblem of Sundance in that he has been in everything, and we love him, and we've seen him since he was little. This is a story that I think shouldn't work as well as it does. It's set in Jersey. It's got very broad Jersey accents. Scarlett Johansson is playing a baby doll with, with fake nails, and she's kind of tarting around. Teaching him about real love, she's right? Teaching, you know, I mean, even the fact that, you know, Julianne Moore plays the older woman who does show what real love is. Everything is stereotyped and shouldn't work, but there is a certain charm to this thing that actually carries it through. Excellent. Well, there are more movies to see, and we won't hold there you back. Are, Get out I'm there going. and see some more. Check back here at EW.com as Lisa Schwartzbaum tells you what's the best of the fest and some of the worst too, right? That's it. <laughs>